You're watching WMBD This Morning. Over the past few months, we've been covering the financial and overall health of WTVP, the public broadcast station in Peoria. Now this morning, we're sitting down with John Wheland, the station's new chairman of the board, to get his take on everything. John, we want to thank you so much for being here with us this thank morning. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. So we know 11 board members, including the board's former chairman, Andrew Rand, resigned. So how did that decision come about? Well, it, it came about because uh, some things that happened over the last uh, a few months, uh, one, and, and few years, one, uh, they bought the Peoria Magazine, uh, great magazine, but it was a financial drain on WTVP to the tune of about $30,000 a month. So that's a lot. And then you had this uh, misuse of funds uh, by a former employee uh, that became public. Then you had the Corporation of Public Broadcasting that says, look, we, we got to put your funding on pause which is a big deal because that's like seven to nine hundred thousand dollars a year. Right. Can't overcome that. And so Andrew Rand and the board decided they need to, to have a pivot strategy. They were able to negotiate a donation uh, from uh, a few people and don uh, a foundation of one point two million dollars. And so uh, the financial concern for WTVP has been removed but the optics and the broken trust that some have experienced in the community was still there. And so they decided in the best interest of the community, they wanted to have the board be refreshed. And so they decided who would stay, who would go, and those who left, they didn't leave because they did something wrong. It was more of, hey, I'll do whatever our community needs. We need a refresh board. And uh, uh, actually, I thought they served nobly. Absolutely. And so there are still five open positions on the board of directors right now. So what does that timeline kind of look like right now? Uh, on February 13th will be the next board meeting. The five will be uh, uh, placed on there to bring us up to the minimum of 18 board members. The bylaw says there needs to be 18 board members. And speaking of those bylaws, previously you've mentioned wanting to make some changes yeah. to the bylaws. So what kind of changes are you looking at right now? Well, one of the changes is uh, we believe that term limits for the chairman is probably good. So I think we're going to lean into like a, a two plus one scenario where you sign up to be the chair for two years. And if for some unique reason you need to have it for one more, fine. But after that two years typically will pass a mantle on to somebody else. I believe, uh, uh, you know, I just got done being the chair of Carl Health and, and, and West. I did that for two years. After two years, you actually start to lose a little steam. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of smart men and women around. And so we want to replace that, keep fresh eyes, cre you know, fresh spirit. That's one of the things we're going to do. Absolutely. And so in your new role here, so what are some other goals that you would like to see accomplished? Obviously, there's been lots of things. Right. WTBP has been in the spotlight. Yep. So we got three things that the board is working on right now. Uh, one, start the process of restoring the trust of our viewers and our members. That's not an event. That's going to be a process. Number two, get the right hand of fellowship with the Corporation of Public Broadcasting to return that, that funding and actually the head uh, person from the uh, CPB uh, contacted me yesterday for an initial phone call. Very optimistic about that. And third, we need to find a great CEO that's going to launch WTVP into a great 2024. Very good. Sounds like a good start there. But, John, we want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Okay. And you all can tune in over on our sister station, Good Day Central Illinois, around 720. We'll be continuing the conversation there, including much more about what's next for the station. And we'll also share this interview on our website, that's CIProud.com.